Hey, good morning, everybody. This is John Phillips with John Phillips Plumbing. Out here in the backyard at the woodshed with my nephew, Nate. He's also a master plumber. Two times. Yeah, he's a two-time master plumber. Anyways, these are his speaker boxes. Nate, tell us about him, man. Tell he, This is what he built yesterday. He's not finished. He's going to finish him up today. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Yep, I build, uh, Pro Audio speaker boxes. Not car audio, but Pro Audio. Nightclubs, bands, DJs, that kind of stuff. And, uh, it's my passion and I love it. Been doing it. Crap. I don't know. I started when I was 14. <laughs> so. Yep. Four years. Yeah. Now, long time, but I love it. It's fun. I enjoy so what's it. that the side panel you put that in after what yep yeah well, Do they, all the speakers yeah. and shit go in from the outside yeah they all go in from the outside so i built this is the last panel that i put in that way I can... hang on guys that way i can do all of my bracing and all that stuff so what do you do sand all these things down yeah once the glue dries i'll route I'll take my router with a uh, with a ball bearing bit on it and trim it all down so everything's flush. Sand it, route off all the edges so they're round over. Sand it again, fill all the holes with. Um, I got a special wood putty that I use, make everything smooth, and then off to St. Pete to go get uh, sprayed with polyurea coating, which is like a Linex. Oh, nice. And then, uh, yeah, I've seen that. That's yeah. great shit. What kind of speakers do you use? Eminence. These guys right here. Wow. Eminence is uh they from Eminence, Kentucky. They've been around, I don't know, 60 years now. They make 80% of the speakers for all the companies in the world. They Kentucky? Make for, yep, they make them for Yamaha. They make speakers, Kentucky? Yep, Eminence, Kentucky. Son of a bitch. Yep. I thought all they made was whiskey. Fucking pot. I thought all they did was grow weed out there in nah, Kentucky. Nah, the good weed comes from Mexico. Oh, <laughs> That's where really? the good weed comes from. I don't think so. I think you're wrong. Maybe it is Kentucky. I don't know. I've never been to Kentucky. The good stuff comes from California these days. But anyways, none of us, neither of us partake in that. No. Uh, no we're not drug users, but this is the final product. I'll put it out here in the sun. Oh, that's got some weight to it. Uh, and, I, and I know. So when you're not using these, I can put them in my living room and blow out my fucking sliding glass doors. Yep. And I know so it's what gonna... goes at the top, Nate? Uh, there's a horn driver that goes there. This guy right here. Wow! Put that. And then the put that bitty in there. Compression driver goes on that. Wow! That'll sit like that. And what do you put on there? That that uh. I got a. Th the uh, grill. I mean the, oh, the oh. material. Yeah, um, Linex will get sprayed, and then the grill will go on here. I I got pieces of wood that I run along through here. And then I attach the grill to it. And you cut out all those circles? How do you cut the circles in the grill? No, 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 no. The, the grill just covers up everything. You, you, oh, you, when okay. When this is done, yeah, yeah. you're not going to see any of the speakers. Right. Where is that grill material? Oh, I, uh, the guy up in the have that it? sprays them. Yeah. Uh, actually, I do have some. I got a little bit right there. I put the doggies in the house today. It's just a little fucking too loud. Crazy. <laughs> It's uh, but you can see it right here. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's expanded metal. Yeah, that's yep. sweet, man. Yep. And so then, the front's covered like that, so when the drunks fall yep. into them. And then I, and then I. And put this is this. the this is the finish on them. Yeah, and then this is what I put. I I glue this to the grill so that you so this is a waterproof. Basically, what this is this is air conditioning filter. Yeah. It's thirty. FSP or whatever yeah. percentage of air can flow through and that just uh, covers the speaker so they don't get damaged if it starts to rain Or somebody throws a beer. Yeah, exactly. It protects them from liquid and all that crap. So and then that's the finished product That's what it looks like right there So wow. Yep. Pretty badass man. I gotta say so for all those people that buy big-name speakers stop doing it Use your local guys. They build better products there you go, little sales pitch. Uh, I've got a, I've got a great idea for my, my craftsman toolbox. 
the drawers in there are just a big mess because there's no dividers so what i've done is yeah i bought some uh some angle iron oh, nice. aluminum yep and i'm just gonna uh make some dividers man put all my stuff in there make a nice little compartment and uh that's it that's it y'all nice. we're back at it nate do you know the date today is january 15th Fuck, you're good, man. It must be nice to be young and with it. I only know it's January 15th because today's my daughter's 25th birthday. There That's you go. I, know. <laughs> I never know what day it is. I had to buy a fucking clock that's about a foot long and six inches high. It tells me what day it is, says good morning, and uh, all of that. We gotta design some shelves, man. Some yeah. pull-out drawers for my truck. Yep. Stacked. All right. So I'm done with this. I'm gonna figure out how to put my guide. Right. All right, guys. So I'm back at it. It's Sunday morning. I'm gonna get this truck squared away. I made a trip to Home Depot, and uh, I bought some angle iron, some Simpson. They're just Simpson ties. But I need to cut cut a little bit off because it it's a tad too long. So I've got the chop saw set up over here. The old Milwaukee. The old Milwaukee. I've actually got a Milwaukee I I had for the last 35 years. Funny man, I 35 years ago, uh, maybe 33 years ago, a friend of mine, Terry, owns a plumbing, very successful guy, owns multiple businesses. Uh, but he uh, he paid me to to outfit one of his trucks, a big old like Steve Lav's truck, big fucking delivery truck, you know. And I built using Unistrut, I built all kinds of shelves inside, customized it for him. And uh, he gave me uh, a Milwaukee chop saw, which I still have to this day. It's on, actually on my truck. It's the old style with a, a little more slim line than this with a longer handle. Uh, but yeah, these things are sentimental, man. These tools. Crazy like that. This, uh, this thing wants to ride off the end. So, 
when we were doing rough ends every rough end without exception we cut every pipe in that house with a chop saw we just dig a little hole in the ground I'll t let me let me tell you this little trick it's great we get to a rough end and we dig a hole in the ground the size of this pan on the bottom and uh, we'd level it all out so that this was level with the dirt in the house we'd find our a place where we could cut where we're not going to be digging and by burying this in the ground your pipes always straight you're going to get a nice straight cut you just lay it on the ground slide it over and cut it so a little tech tip there that's how we used to do it uh, dig a hole for your chop saw bury it in the ground fill it in tamp it so it's not moving and uh, just make the top of this level with the grade works man it works guys I'm telling you use a chop saw you'll never have any issues you get nice square cuts nice joints if you know how a pvc joint works you'll know that it's important that that thing's square all right so let's see that's gonna work man that's gonna work boy Uh-oh, the first screw of the day. Why the fuck isn't this thing magnetic? It's just a cruel joke they play on us, guys, by making these non-magnetic. Hey, look at this. I got one. I just never fucking use it. I hate it. Okay guys, so a little more cutting edge television. I'm gonna go ahead and drive a screw right here. Make it look as hard as I can. You know, that's what we do, y'all. That's what we do, y'all. That thing is bent. Something ain't right here. Something ain't right, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna run over to my mom and dad's for a few minutes, eat some breakfast. Damn, that son of a bitch. Woo. That's some heavier gauge right there, boys. And I got it in the wrong place, but I don't care. That's why. my language. I'm going to try not to swear today, guys. <sighs> All right. So, man, that thing is that thing is not going anywhere. I like this new tripod, man. Pretty nice. So I'm just gonna throw this last one in here. I used, I said I was worried about this obstructing things, but that has gone by the wayside, my friends. 
I've moved on to other things. So I'm going to see if I can, by the end of the day, get my nephew to help me design and build a, a rack system, racking drawers. That ain't going nowhere. These aren't, these holes don't line up for some reason, so that's good enough. Looks good for Mahoneyville, boys. All right, guys, so this is the plan, man. I've got some angle iron. This is, I've only got one piece of this because this is the only drawer that is that depth. The rest of them are one inch deep or one and a quarter. So I've got some one inch angle iron. This is a ten and a half inch piece, but it's going to be nice, man. I'm just going to start loading my tools in here. Sure that that's a good measurement all the way across when I measured it I measured in the corner because the back of this is a little caddy wampus that's how that's what they say in Kentucky so I'll just put my square in here make sure these things are, are square and maybe just one screw man because it's really it's tight you know it's probably not going to spin but if I have to add make put two screws in here the little black self tapper the uh drywall screws and then i may have to grind them off on the bottom i'm hoping it's thick enough where it's still even with those screws it closes so uh we'll see that's the plan man let me drive one in here Let me go get some screws. Alright guys, so I've got this thing in here squared up. Close enough for government work. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Ow! That didn't work. I was going to rivet these in, but I like screws because then I can move them if I have to. Okay, that worked, that worked great. Gotta go, to the, gotta go to the hex heads, man. Alright guys, so I'm going to take another crack at this with the black... Uh, metal framing screws I think I just need to pre-drill the hole in the aluminum because what's happening is it's bottoming out the screws bottoming out on the uh, on on the aluminum and it doesn't want to go past that point so that's pretty square I want to be around four inches on this one that's close enough like I said, I can move this shit, man. That's the that's the uh, the benefit of this. So I'm gonna yeah, that's the ticket, guys. Let's make sure it's square still, which it it moved. I mean, I'm not building a space shuttle, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Just needs, just needs to be, it just needs to be there. Finally figured out how to use one of these toolboxes. Look at that. Don't even have to grind them off. All right, so I'm gonna need one, two, Three. Three more of them doggies. Huh. Yeah, three more. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, Smokey. Yeah. 
it's gonna be nice man so instead of cutting this shit on the chops i mean on the uh chop saw i've actually i've cut these with the uh just the regular miter saw you know cuts aluminum if you got a good uh you got a good, uh, whatchamacallit, good shop. Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say, y'all? If you got a good carbide blade on there with a lot of teeth, which I do, better. All right, so we're not getting too particular here. I'm gonna square that up once I drive. I don't care about the size, really. Like I said, I can move these. Yeah. Man, that's easy, guys. That's easy. That's some bitch right on the money. Uh oh. oh. up again drove that hole too far into the back oh little tech tip guys them screws going better with the drills in forward okay just so you know now you know you didn't know now you know in the words. In the words of the ancient Negro spiritual. If you didn't know, now you know. Something like that. It's in one of them rap songs, man. I like it. are all different sizes which is cool man got no issue with that man that shit is sweet buddy can't believe it took me all these years to figure that out shit So let's fill it up with something. I want my channel locks and shit like that. My, my go-to stuff. I got my box here. I mean my wheelbarrow. It's a barrow, guys. Not a barrel. I'm trying to make the trades great again, you know? You gotta talk. I got a joke. I got a joke. I'm from, I'm from Rhode Island. There's a lot of Portuguese people up there, and I speak Portuguese. Uh, you probably didn't realize that that I speak two languages. I speak Portuguese, and the trick to speaking Portuguese is, uh, you just, um, you never really pronounce the word. You get close, but it's not really like a sandwich to a Portuguese person is a sandwich, you know, or um, it's just they get close, but they just can't they can't nail it. You know, they can't get the right word, but you can under you can piece it together and understand what the fuck they're talking about. But that's Portuguese, man. They get close, you know, but uh, yeah, enough of that. All right, so I've got to unveil this. I've got a two-tier system here. 
LK screwdriver. Always need one of them. Used to use them a lot. I don't use it at all anymore, man. Nobody puts... Well, I guess some people do, but... So, voila. My tools. Oh, I can see a problem already. This shit ain't gonna fit in there. Son of a bitch. Should have put one long one. I'll do that up there. I'm gonna make one long one. Maybe I'll do this one all long ones, you know? That'll work. Some cutters. All right, I just gotta figure it out. Let me put this shit together and uh, I'll show you when I'm done with this first drawer. All right, guys, so this is kind of what it's gonna look like, each drawer. I realized for some reason, oh, oh there we go. That's gonna help them drawers from popping out. Those screws, eventually they'll wear down. That's All right, so my plan right now is to see what I have. I'm gonna put everything in, you know, separate piles so that I, I can see what I have, see when I have too much, uh, and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna set, I set this table up, it's eight feet long. Now I'm just gonna start by putting all my shit together. Tub tools go there. Uh, you know, I'll figure out a spot for these tub tools. Get most of them together, you know. This is a, this, that's a uh, element wrench. Put my wrenches, sockets, all that shit. Uh, I don't carry many wrenches. These I don't need. Mine. That looks like a good blade. All right, let me get let me get cracking. I got a whole wheelbarrow full. All right, guys, so I've been at it for a little while. You can see that I have multiple uh, versions of the same tool on this truck. Too many levels. I've already, this whole bucket is just redundancy, you know? I need to get rid of it, but uh, my plan is to get... What I'm going to do is I'm going to make up this little bag here. It's something I can carry over my shoulder. Very light, easy to carry. And uh, I'll adjust this strap. And what I can do with this is it'll have basic shit in it. Pipe dope, Teflon tape, channel locks, some cutters, you know, screwdrivers, stuff like that. Just basic shit, a basin wrench, a couple crescent wrenches. I mean, I, there's like 10 crescent wrenches there, man. Crazy. All these Allen wrenches plus the ones I already took off. Mirrors. Multiple fucking wire uh, strippers. Taps. Picks. Scrapers. Pipe wrench channel locks. All of these channel locks. It's fucking crazy. I already took off this this three basin wrenches here. I already took off probably ten of them. Uh, but my plan, like I said, is to have this bag, and it's going to go right here. This bag is going to go right here on the floor. It's going to free this space up for buckets and shit like that so when i when i go knock on somebody's door i'm not wasting a trip you know what i mean i can go in there assess what needs to be done hopefully i'll have the stuff i may have to uh, make one trip out to the truck but my my thing is you know to show up at their door ready to work they're paying me and uh you know i'll have a screw gun in here and a flashlight uh and we'll see you know try to try to organize it a little bit more but this is going to work out great i just need to decide what's going in here this is a great way to uh utilize uh do these boxes man 
I think a couple of them I'm going to do the long way because I've got some long shit. Uh, just put the put the screws in a couple drawers and uh, it's probably down here on these. Put some of my biggest stuff in here: pinch bar, I mean uh, crowbars, uh, cat's paws. You know, some of this long stuff, some bigger crescent wrenches, uh, hammers, files, shit like that. That's not, it's not going to fit. Otherwise, it's not going to go in like this. You know? So I need to have some small, you know, like have one here for files, cold chisels, you know, shit like that. Uh, but it, I'm, I'm excited about this. This shit still excites me. I had, uh, I don't know, I can never find a fucking razor knife, but I had six of them or eight of them and a couple box cutters, which are really nice with all this packaging. These things are a lot safer when you're trying to open a fucking plastic package that is designed so you can't open it, you know? I'm cold, I got boogers running down my face, snot all over my sleeve, and uh, I'm getting it. Eight feet of madness. Look at this. It happens, guys. It's called, uh, I'll think of a name for it, what it's called, but let me get busy making up this tool bag first. guys so this is my tool bag got everything I should need really for a simple repair but I you know when I what I like to do when I get to a job is I always bring a business card with me because the people probably found my number from somebody else and if it's a new customer I obviously have never given them a business card so I always have a business card in one hand or a couple of them and I like to come to the door with a tool bag because it just you know you're there and you're ready to work basically you're gonna go in and, and assess it and jump on do what you can do uh, if you need more stuff then you can go outside and get it but I'm happy with this bag it's light uh, it's gonna fit right right in the front of my truck and I'll just grab it uh, it's not heavy on my shoulder but now what I can do is I'll start to build these bins and put this stuff in and get rid of I don't need 10 you know I just need to get rid of some of this shit maybe have a uh, yard sale or donate it um, but yeah I just uh, you know you don't need 40 pairs of fucking channel locks on your truck, man. Sure you'll survive. You'll survive the day. So I'll show you where this is gonna go. It's a great tripod, man. Spoke too fucking soon. So much for that. But yeah, I just, uh, be it, man. So I want to show you what I have in here actually. So obviously this is for service. On this side I've got two eight inch crescent wrenches and a six inch crescent wrench right here I've got a mini hacksaw and two a chisel for cutting off my closet shims and this this uh, I painted so I can uh, use it for taking off the wax uh, I've got two flashlights here this one's nice because it's it, it extends and uh, it's magnetic so it's like having a magnet too. Uh, I got my tub tool on this side. On this side, I'm gonna put my cutters in here. Uh, 
I've got my PVC cutters, my large PVC cutters on the outside here. I've got my scraper, a six in one Milwaukee or eight in one, whatever the hell it is. I've got a pair of side cutters and some wire strippers in case I need to do something on a garbage disposal or whatever. Uh, on this side, I've got a long fill, uh, regular screwdriver, a short regular, a long Phillips, and a short Phillips number two. Uh, that's really all I need. I've got a complete set of nut drivers here. Now on the inside, I've got on this side, I've got a level. I've got a razor knife, which I'm actually going to put on the outside. I've got a can of uh, WD-40. I've got a screw gun. Needle nose pliers. These are pretty cool. I got them the other day from Harbor Freight. They're really good. Long reach. Uh, I got a small pair. And I've got a needle nose pair. Just, uh, just covering all the bases. And uh, these I'm going to put upside down. So they don't tear a hole in the shit. Got my basin wrench. I've got uh, three pairs of channel locks. A, a, a 12 inch or 16 inch. 12 inch. And then a small pair. But I got to get rid of I don't like these as much as the Milwaukee. So I got to find my Milwaukee. I have a couple pairs somewhere can't find them imagine that uh, I do like these F finding this set yesterday is nice to have some drill bits with an extension and I've got a long Phillips head screwdriver bit there and a couple extra a 5 16 nut driver and a, a, a quarter inch nut driver here it's one in uh, two for one there so I'll keep that in there I've got I've got some uh, scotch bright and uh, obviously a hammer and I may put some more stuff in here but the main thing is I've got putty I've got my closet shims I've got pipe dope I have uh, my stickers to put on garbage disposals and uh, and water heaters every house every time I uh, it's easier said than done. Probably more closer to reality. Uh, I hardly ever put them on, actually, guys. But it's a real good, inexpensive way to advertise. So anyways, this is my bag. Like I said, I may get a couple more things that I find that I need. A tape measure, probably, but I don't usually use a tape too often, but... I'll throw a small one in here. Uh, I've got a real nice little Stanley that doesn't flop around, but I don't need a 25-foot tape measure, man. I just need shit to measure. Or maybe even even my... Uh, I like using that wood lure. So, anyways, that's that. Let me get back on this, on this toolbox here. Try to put some of this stuff away. All right, guys, so this is uh, working out pretty good, man. With the, with the angle iron, the one inch aluminum, pre-drill your holes, stick it in, square it up. And there's all she wrote, yo. I'm gonna put screwdrivers in this one. All I do is, I'm not shooting for perf perfection. I'm, uh, I just want to, I'll get, get that in there. And I'll take my square off of this, this leading edge here. Square it up. Not too much. You don't want it to be perfect, guys. Good enough for me. Looks good from Oneyville, boys. So that's it. 
is form or screwdriver. Keep them babies from rolling around, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll put them in a separate one, 4 in one or 6 in one Now I need one for the Phillips head screws. Screwdrivers, I mean. These drawers have just always been a mess. Can't believe it took me so long to figure out how to deal with it. So that's fair enough. Some of these you may have to grind these screws off. Most of them no. I think I'll just cut this tip off so it'll fit. That's probably not a good idea. So these are all torque head. Got an extra 5 16 because I'm always losing them for some reason. Always got to have a good all, y'all, and uh, some offset screwdriver. It's kind of a specialty bin here. Another Phillips head. So that's it. Yep, I gotta grind them off. I do have a, a long uh, drawer up here with some real long screwdrivers. I'll probably throw that Phillips in there. Gotta go cut some more pieces. Got my LK screwdriver, some uh, 16 inch screwdrivers. You can't, some of these cola toilets, man. You actually need these big ass uh, screwdrivers to put them in. If you can believe that. All right, let me grind that that uh, drawer, the screws off, and uh, put that drawer back in. That's all she wrote, boys. That easy. And little trick, little tech tip, man. I got this spray bottle full of uh, mystery oil. I like to use that. It smells wonderful. Probably covering up uh, some hazardous toxic material. But what I do when I get to the bottom of a a lot of times I got WD-40 cans 
and uh, you can't there's no pressure in the can to get the shit out so I just drive a, a small Phillips head screwdriver through one side leave it in there until the pressure the little bit of pressure that's in there bleeds off and then pop a hole in the other side and I mix it with this shit to make it an even more toxic mixture uh, and it's better than throwing that stuff out it's not cheap you know and this WD-40 and mystery oil it's even more of a mystery now but I got I probably out of three cans of WD-40 I probably got that much out of it out of those cans by emptying them so little uh, tech tip so the best thing about these you can move them around you can change your tools around I'm just trying to get this shit back on my truck but I've got my saws all blades here and uh, I've got my Phillips head I mean these are specialty screwdrivers and Torx head uh, these are Phillips head screwdrivers regular head screwdrivers uh, I've got my uh, linesman cutters and my uh, splice I mean uh, yeah, them things and then a couple of tub tools here uh, on this one I gotta cut I gotta cut those screws off but I've got you know 42 razor knives my tub tools uh, three hacksaws and blades all my copper cutters I bought these the other day two in one rigid I'm a rigid guy man I just, you know, I just like sticking with the shit that brought us. You know what I'm saying, boys? Okay. Okay. Getting late. Anyways, and these are my my uh, Unisom in case I need to take a nap. Up here, I need to screw these in. And I need to find my other long wrench. This is actually a very, very good tool, guys. I hardly ever use it, but it's it's really a, a, a well, it's worth it to buy it, especially if you're putting compression stops on. What I would tell you is, if you, uh, if you, let me put this up here. If you do use it, always put the nut, see this goes inside the stop to hold it where you want it and then you use this to tighten the nut up on a compression stop I would say just always make sure you get that nut on those threads because you can ruin a brand new stop not not that I've done that but I've heard you know so this right here is a 5 8 it goes tightens that nut on the top this is uh, probably for an ice maker stop this is for the nut that holds the compression on and probably the uh the witch call it yeah the uh packing nut anyways it's a great tool i i never really use that but i've been using it a lot more on service uh these are great tools man can anybody tell me what these what type of wrench these are let me know in the comments section they are definitely a specific, there's a name for these guys and the mechanics and maybe somebody knows. So the good thing is I, I actually have, I'm not throwing this shit out, I'm going to bring it into my wood shop. But uh, I've eliminated a lot of uh, waste, I've cleared this table off pretty much. Uh, I just need to put some more uh, aluminum pieces in here, screw these in. I've got all of this shit up here, my my uh, seat wrenches, um, my sockets for putting toilets in. Uh, sometimes I need to use a socket. I've got my mirrors here, my levels. Uh, over here I've got all my extraction tools. I've got some picks, uh, a lot of easy outs, a lot of small ones. A lot of times I find that I have to cut, you know, it, it, it almost goes against your grain, but you got to cut these things because a lot of times what we're trying to get out, it's not very deep. 
it's not like we have unlimited space behind us so uh you know i've got a lot of them here that are trimmed up but i don't mind i mean you got to get the job done you know what i'm saying and i always save the pieces to be honest with you look i'll save that man i could drive that into something and use a pair of channel locks maybe i like this this extractor very good Gotta keep it where I can see it. My eyes are bad when it gets down in that black drawer. I can't see shit. Got all my electrical, my gauges, test equipment, basically. Uh, just some gauges, my electrical meter, my wonder bar, a uh, cat's paw, this scraper, a couple other scrapers, putty knives, cold chisels, files, junk. I've got, a, I've got enough of these to last me a lifetime. But a lot of people don't have them when I get to their house so I can give them to them, you know. Torch tips. Yeah. I just need to get the shit back on the truck. Some, uh, this is a half inch pipe thread. This is three quarter pipe thread. And you always need these guys, man. You get them we painted clips out plum bob i watched a guy the other day uh he was roughing in a house on a second rough doing a tub set and he put a piece of pipe up on top of the wall and kind of eyeballed it you know and then drew a pencil mark around uh the pipe or a marker and then he took a sawzall and just fucking blew a nasty big ass hole through the roof and Dude, you got to use a plumb bob, you know? Go up on the roof and move the plumb bob along until you get centered up on that hole you drilled on the top plate. Put a mark and then use a, a drill, man. You can hold that drill at a 90 degree angle to any pitched roof and drive it through. Either a 3 inch, use a hole saw, or 2 and 9 sixteenths or 2 and an eighth. But you need to make them holes tight because it just it creates an issue up there possible leak you know when the roofers go up there and they drive those flashings down they can be a bitch getting those lead boots on there so uh we always made sure that those were nice and straight and tight and you need to use a plumb bob to do that if you're not already doing it got my craftsman sign put up that ain't crooked by mistake. That's just letting you know I lean a little bit to the left. Oh yeah. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> I'm liking this, man. Little bit of organization. I gotta screw these guys in. I don't use a lot of open end and box end wrenches in what I do, but sometimes I need a half inch, a 9 16 or 5 8 I'll use uh, in these big dogs. Uh, but I've got plenty of crescent wrenches, pipe wrenches on here. Uh, I'm going to give all this shit a bath in mystery oil when I'm done. Go ahead and screw that thing in there. Guys, I realized that you can uh, put these things in. You don't have to pre-drill the holes. Just uh, drive it in, back it back out, and then go back in. Got it? Looks good from Oneyville. Drive it in. Bag it out. Bam! Just need to put a put one on there. A couple on that back, doggy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been cutting this metal four at a time on my uh, my wood chop saw. Going nowhere. Now I just gotta cut those those deals off underneath. My blade's getting off short. Seem to be down all the way. Ugh. A little short. I'm getting tired. I haven't eaten all fucking day. Nice. I'm just gonna throw the rest of the shit in here clean up because I've got to get something to eat and I'm done for today I've done what I want to do I've got uh, my tool bag set up the way I want it I gotta cut that fucking tit off of there that thing's hitting just a tad So the rest of the stuff on this, this is hitting too. And the rest of the stuff on that table, I want. So I'm just gonna throw it in here now. Figure out what I need to do. Got some razor blades. That's a great place for them. This thing, I make my own sockets, guys. Let me show you something. I was trying to use this tool one day and it just wasn't long enough. So I made my own out of a piece of one inch PVC. I just put a couple notches in. I was changing out a laundry tub on a uh, one of those old musty tens with the metal bracket and you can't get your arm up in there. And this thing, is just out of reach so you can't get your hand in and turn it uh so i made this and then i also made one out of three quarter but i don't know what i did with it uh, i heated it up and i pushed it over the nut on on my supply hoses and uh let it drop let it cool and that was it i ran the supply hose through it and stuck it up there and there was no other way for me to do it i fucking killed myself for a half hour trying to get them things in uh, sometimes you know you can make yourself a bunch of sockets out of PVC this shit is very good material to make tools out of um, what we're putting together it doesn't need to be tight like this steel is way heavier than you need to put a plastic fucking faucet nut on so stop making some of your own tools guys and save them uh, 
that's what I do. I can't find the one that I made, but you know, I try to save them. Bought this from Amazon. It's in case I have to do some battle dressing out in the field. But no, I bought them mainly for these. These are great for reaching in uh, and grabbing something deep inside. If you, because a lot of times you can't get your uh, needle nose pliers in there. These are great, man. They lock. And if you cut a main artery, you can just, you know, fucking jam it in there and pinch it off and it locks and drive yourself to the hospital. Hey, I'm all done with my truck for today. Come on, guys. Let's go. Gus A. Where the fuck did he go? Come on, Gussie. Let's go, man. I hear some noise back here. My nephew, he's been soldering up speakers and getting hot, man. All right, so let's go see what my nephew was able to put together, and then I'll come back and show you my truck. DJ Skate is in the house. Nate, you got both of them built? Yeah, both of them So this is the speaker he just built. That's another one he built. Big motherfucker. Let's see what it sounds like. Hopefully YouTube will let us play it. Steve knows He's got some crazy shit. I'm gonna do some scratching here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit on this bucket and listen to the concert. Couldn't even tell you what the fuck all this stuff is. Nate, I want to do some scratching. Can you scratch? Yeah, not on that thing now. What is that? That's a DJ controller. That took the place of turntables and shit. That's for guys that are just learning. It's a buddy of mine's. I gotta fix the RCA jack. Sounds on the back. like me. Yeah, the I RCA think jack is bad. DJ. All right. JPP in the house. Yeah. All right, <laughs> shut up, Bella. People are complaining about you. <laughs> Good boy. You're gonna do a backflip. Get over here. Whoa. Hello there. Come on, Gussie. Eat a big dog. That fucking tail would knock, knock a 200 pound man over. Bella, come on now. Listen to this asshole. All day. That's all he does all day. Riding around making fucking noise. God, I can't stand it. Put some bass in that motherfucker, man. I gotta figure out 
why my subs aren't coming on. Test one, two, test one, two. I think we're about ready to get down here. You know. Turn them things on on the bottom. I mean, I I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but You're I think no they, rocket scientist, I know I think they need to be on. Yep. You guys going? Gotta do this quick because the cops will be here soon, so put some jams on some of that old shit from the 80s, man. Yep. Original rap. Let's do this. So I put in a, I put in a request for Grandmaster Flash White Lines. I used to jam on this when I was a kid. I think you scared the piss out of Bella. Alright, we gotta go. If the cops come, I'll tell them you're back here. Alright, that'll work. Thank you. Yep. No sweat, brother. I ain't taking a dive for nobody. Fuck all that. Woo! All right, so let's let's do a summary. Oh shit, my neighbor's up across the street. That ain't good. All right, so jamming. Oh, I hear his little candle box back there. Woohoo, doggy! I want to go listen to this music, man. Fuck all them tools, you know?
It's a jam. Set them fuckers up on the lanai, man. Chill out at the pool, man. Huh? You need to get them things jamming on the pool deck someday. I'll put them on the pool deck. Hey, um, how about another request? What's that song from Candlebox? That, that good one they came out with uh, 42 years ago. Shit, that whole album was a great album. Yeah, no shit, man. Let's go. I'm gonna pull. Oh, fuck. I thought I had my shades with me. Oh, that's a good song. All right. Here we go. I saw these guys in concert, man. Sounds good, man. Too bad we don't live out in the fucking woods, bro. We could crank it up. Chase all the fucking squirrels out. So when you're old, shit that used to take you an hour or two to do takes you all fucking day. Yep. And um, that's where I am, so... This is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope that uh, YouTube lets us play it without giving me some kind of copyright thing. But uh, anyways, my nephew, he's a talented guy. Master plumber, master speaker builder, master DJ, DJ skate. He, he, uh, he's Jewish. And uh, he he does lots of bar mitzvahs and uh, stuff like that, you know, weddings. He wears these pants. He pulls them real high up under his boobs with a belt. And he stands kind of hunched over. And he's like, I'll take some requests. Anybody want anything? Anyways, uh, that's my old Jewish guy impression. Have a great day.